Almost two years ago, with the pressure from my parents and also the influence of others, I started studying media arts at Vitotas Magnus University in Lithuania, and about three months later, I dropped out. In today's video, I'm going to share why exactly I dropped out and also give you the sense of the experience which came from going on a different path than others. Ever since my childhood and early teenage years, I never really thought deeply about who I want to be and what things I would want to accomplish. It seemed that I was impulsively jumping from idea to idea of my future every day. I think that many people struggle or have struggled with this in their lives, but everyone is told the same story when they get older. Think about a few topics that you're interested in and apply to university or college of your choice and pray that you get in and that's pretty much it. It's the safe choice and it makes sense. You will go through four years of yet more of the same school system type of learning so it's familiar and after those four years you are promised to be qualified for a job in your selected area of studies. At first I thought, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do and I looked at all these different professions and thought that I had to choose one. But as time passed, I started to question if studying was worth it. In my teenage years, I grew a big interest in YouTube and creating content and so I started a gaming channel which got about 25,000 subscribers and I actually got paid from YouTube for doing it. Although I don't upload anything on that channel anymore because I just don't game anymore but that experience was really important as it taught me that you don't need to go to university or even leave your house in order to learn stuff. Because of the internet and my interest in video games, I learned how to edit, how to use Photoshop, and I actually got paid for it without any university degree. And yes, I understand that for a majority of people, going to university is actually good, and in any way, I don't suggest that you make bad decisions if you go to study, because for many professions, you actually do need to be qualified by government standards to, uh, for example, be a doctor or a lawyer, but I'm talking here pretty much about my experience and maybe like art school in general. I believe that if you're studying art, it's a waste of time and money. Unless maybe you have a scholarship and in that case, if your education is free and you actually put in the effort to learn, then I guess it's acceptable to go there. But many people that go to art school go there for that safe feeling, you know, and uh, they think that if they, if they finish and get their bachelor's degree or whatever, they can just easily find clients, you know, get a good job position and just, you know, work by their profession. Well, in today's world, people look for what kind of value you can provide. If your only value is your photography bachelor's degree, then you won't find clients because you actually need to go out there and hustle for them. You actually need to do some free work and in that case, you actually build up your portfolio. What I'm trying to say here is that with the internet, there's pretty much no limit to learn and create. It then becomes about your self-discipline and willingness to go through that information, to sort it out and just put in the work. Through YouTube and the internet, I discovered that I want to do something creative with my life. And when I went to, to those three months of university, I just, found how many like useless courses there were and not that much practicality. Let's be real, you will never learn to film or take photos by reading books. You will actually learn that stuff by actually going outside and shooting a video or taking some photos. And yes, the technical stuff matters, but it, sh but it shouldn't be the majority of your learning process. I believe that you can learn pretty much everything about filmmaking, editing, photography, YouTube, whatever creative activity you want to participate on on the internet. And me doing YouTube is not the only example. I recently moved out of my parents' house and I wanted to earn some extra money and I've been working like almost a year at my pizzeria job and as you probably know it's minimum wage and uh, I don't make any money on my YouTube channel as of yet so be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help me get closer to my dreams and so I started to do some freelance photography. I've never really been into photography, like yes, I've taken a few photos in the past, but never really got that deep into it. So I decided to learn what angles are the best, how the whole process of client photography works, and I just started out to, to I started out reaching to clients on Facebook groups. If you are just starting out, the best thing you can do is do free work to get the ball rolling. In my case, nobody would pay me if I send them a link of my photography page and there's like 
no photos there. So what I started to do is I photographed like five clients, I think, uh, for free. And then people were more inclined to pay me because I introduced pricing after that. And uh, when people actually see that I have a decent portfolio now, they started to pay me. And actually I started doing paid work. And in the last month, I think I made over like 100 euros and of course that is not much but that just shows you how you can actually go out there and learn by yourself and to start making money from that without any university degree. With every photo session I got better and better and it actually started to become easier to communicate with clients to know exactly what they want and what value to provide. And you don't need any $10,000 equipment to start working. I have a Canon 200D with a 50 millimeter lens and 24 millimeter lens which you actually we see right now in this video uh, I also have a um, okay I wrote it down so <laughs> I don't forget I have a SD softbox softbox lights a Benjo T600 EX tripod and a Boya BY M1 microphone which the price to everything comes at about 950 euros so and everything is down in the description all the Amazon links not affiliate or maybe affiliate I don't know and that just shows you that you can work at a 9 to 5 job for a couple of months save up, buy the equipment and start working without spending thousands of dollars on an education. And again, if you choose to go to university or college, it's perfectly fine. I'm just sharing my experience and showing you that there are alternative ways of actually what to do if, you're, if you don't go. But believe me, it's not all sunshines and rainbows because there are times when it's really painful and you actually just start to doubt yourself if you made the right decision. As I mentioned in the beginning, going to university slash college is the safe choice and part of that safety comes from the comfort which comes from knowing how things are going to plan out. When you finish university, you get your degree and then you can go working with that degree. Of course, it's not that simple, but the plan is there and the future is sort of figured out, so it gives peace to the mind. Now, when you are going on a different road, it's never straight. Every day I think about when I'm going to make it, when I'm gonna feel that comfort and when I can actually, it's kind of like not really stoic to think like that, but there are times when I think, well, like, when can I, prove my family and friends wrong and actually show them show them that I did something great without going to university and into debt. So of course I get discouraged when my videos don't do that well, I get discouraged when I have to go to my pizzeria job and just sit there and think when I'm gonna leave to get home to actually start working on the stuff that really matters and I start to think when I can actually make this my creative work monetizable. Many people who choose to hustle, to start their own business, to start doing freelance work can probably agree with me on this one that at times you feel like you're really stuck and you actually feel that you can never reach what others have and that your work sucks and so on. That's why I love movies like Shawshank Redemption, Papillon, Papillon, whatever whatever you pronounce it, uh, Count of Monte Cristo, The Pursuit of Happiness and Midnight Express because all these movies show characters who are stuck, who seem to find themselves in circumstances which are against them and I just really relate to these characters and find inspiration in being stuck but also in the end making it against all odds and of course I'm not a prisoner like the characters in many of these movies and I don't experience the same level of pain as them but I find parts in them that say something about me and I don't care if it's not on the same level, it's still relatable. I guess something more relatable would be other people who made it, who inspired me to start doing filmmaking and YouTube. People like Matt Diavella, Ainsel Ganger, Captain Sinbad, Joey from Better Ideas, uh, Nathaniel Drew. People who were at zero subscribers at some point and now amassed over hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I sometimes wonder when and if I can get to their level and that is the thing that really creates this feeling of being stuck for me. But I just always keep reminding myself that if I keep putting in the work, keep putting the effort the con to have that consistency, I can make it someday. Same goes for anybody who feels like they are stuck and that they might not reach their dreams. You know, you just have to keep pushing, keep going. And the thing that helps me is to remind myself that I have to be patient and that it's not gonna take a year for me to complete, uh, I don't know, this challenge for myself. It can take a couple to actually see some progress, but that, that is what keeps me going. Okay guys, so I just wanted to share how I feel lately and if you're still watching this video, 
thank you and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like as that really helps me to get closer to my dreams of creating these YouTube videos for a living and also subscribe for weekly self-improvement videos. If you want daily self-improvement content be sure to follow me on Instagram and if you want to support this channel and improve its quality help me get closer to my dreams as I mentioned before, you can support this channel both on Patreon and PayPal. Thank you again for watching this video guys and stay on your journey.